Hi all, this is Mohit Tyagi. Since we are doing SQL interview question series, so this is the further continuation of that. Today we will discuss two scenario based questions. Both are quite similar where we will use the case statement, right? And these have been asked in technical interview. Right, so this is the input we have and this is our output, right? So what, what we have to do here, we have to aggregate the amount based on the customer name right on the yearly basis right right so what what we have to do we have to take out the year out of this order date right and then we will use the case statement inside that right so let's see how we will achieve this in sql so these are the commands right with the help of these commands you can create the table and insert the data right I will add these commands in the description so that you can also use and try at your end, right? So for now, I'm just removing this and I will keep just only the year, year sum, right? Select star from year sum, right? So, so I, I have already feed that data, right? So this is the table. So we have to perform uh, on this step, right? So first I will take out the customer name because uh, based on the customer name, we have to aggregate the, the amount, right? Customer name, right? Puma. Now we will use the case statement inside the bracket. Right, case. Here we will use the first uh, when statement when date part date part and we are taking out the year out of this order date right if this is equal to 2020 right then we are taking out the amount right second statement else zero right because for now we are calculating only 2022 amount, right? And we can give it alias as sum of 2020, right? So because we are doing the aggregation of amount, so we also have to use the sum, sum, sum function, right? So we have to use it outside, right? From yes table group by group by customer name right for now i'm just showing you uh, for 2022 only right let's see what will be the output so right now we are having only output for 2020 right so we have to do same case statement for uh, other years as well right 2021 and 2022 so i'm just copy and paste it right right this is for 2021 right so we also have to take out the 2021 year and same for the 2022 22 and we have to give it alias name 2020 yeah so everything is set now so we have to just run this command right so we can see uh, this is how we can achieve the output so what we have done here, we are just aggregating the sum of amount based on the particular year, right? And group by customer name, right? So, so that it is aggregated based on the customer name on yearly basis, right? So that's how we can achieve this, right? If you will see, so this is our output. Now uh, we will move to the second situation. So this is also quite similar. So here also we will use the case statement, right? So this is our input where we have a student ID subject and marks, and this is our output where we have to aggregate the marks based on the uh, ID, right? Student ID, right? So this is what we have to achieve. So let's move into the SQL and let's see how we can achieve this. So so same, same like DDL and DML command I have created for you guys so that you can also try it at your end. I will also add. So
so i will also add these these command in into the description so that you can also try right so for now i'm just removing everything and i will just keep the table because i have already inserted the data right so this is the table right so we have to perform here like uh, case statement for that we will use the student id because we have to aggregate it marks based on the student id right from a case inside the bracket when subject is equal to english then marks right else zero and as english right so this is just for the english because we have to aggregate the marks so we also have to use the sum right so we will use the same case statement for others right for math right math will be the field name third one will be for the science science right fourth one will be for the sports right from table name right group by student id because we are aggregated based on the student id if i will run this this will be our output right so this is what we are looking for right so we are doing group by based on the student id and we are aggregating the marks right so these are the case statement that we can use so this is just like what we have done for this customer name right we are doing customer name for the selection and we are doing the same for the group by right and for the yearly we are just taking out the amount and we are doing the aggregation same for that here right for the every subject we are doing some of marks right so that's how we can achieve this so that's all for today's session so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day.